Hello, in this video, we'll talk about how to config Synergy uh, port monitoring uh, either by local mode or remote uh, mode. So uh, if you want to config uh, Synergy uh, port monitoring to monitor the server traffic, the configuration will start under the networking and under logical interconnect and to the uh, top right corner as action, you will config the config port monitoring. Okay, so this is a configuration pretty much you can you know disable and then enable. And the uh, we'll st uh, start with the local port monitoring mode. So over here, you will you know first uh, select you know what's your destination, uh, you know the server. Uh, which will uh, your Wireshark Windows or Linux TCP dump the server will be connecting to this server. So this is more like a span destination port. So in this case, we'll be using inter one of the internal server in the server base six. And so we'll choose this one. So from the virtual connect perspective, this is a virtual connect three. D3, that means a downlink port six. Uh, uh, the D6, that means a downlink port six, which is going to the uh, first port for the server mass card in server base six. So we'll go this one and we'll add ports and we'll do the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, if we want to see the traffic uh, from and to the server in bay one, we'll choose the uh, add to, for the uh, first port for the virtual connect three. And if you want to see the the B side uh, for the same server. So pretty much you want to see that the same, you know, downlink port. So this is pretty much going to the other virtual kind of module in virtual uh, module six. So both ports for this server best card will be monitored for this local port monitoring session. So we'll click OK. So we'll just uh, uh, waiting for the configuration for port monitoring. I'll pause the video, we'll, we'll come back after it's finished the configuration. Okay, so let's take a look at the configuration. Uh, this is a, pretty much the summary of what we just config. The destination port will be the you know, server base six, and the source port will be uh, you know, from the server bay in, uh, in server in server bay one. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, real uh, traffic. Uh, so for the uh, server profile perspective, so one thing is very important for if you want, uh, you know, internal server uh, in server base six to be your Wireshark or TCP dump server to analyze the traffic, you need to make sure this server uh, will is not config for any server profile uh, config, uh, you know, connections. So this is a configuration for this server. So you can see if you want to go to the connection section, the connection has to be blank because if you want to assign to any connection to any port for this server mass adapter, the that's more like a normal server connection passing the user traffic. The adapter will be a provision as a we call the flex mode. So the flex mode is very good for the uh, its normal mode for to pass the user data traffic. But if you want to, your server traffic, just a uh, server NIC, just be, uh, you know, the Wireshark, you know, NIC uh, listening to any incoming traffic, you cannot config the flex, NIC, uh, flex mode for this server adapter. So either you do not config any server profile for a uh, server in server v6, or you can config the server profile, but you know, you need to leave the uh, server. Uh, uh, server profile connection uh, as a blank. You can see this is a server base six. Okay, so in order to for you to access this server, you can, uh, you will do the, you know, the uh, doing the ILO connection. And uh, if you want to transfer in out, you know, your capturing traffic, you can do the uh, virtual drive, you set up the virtual folder. So you can, uh, uh, transfer the captured file into your local management station to do the deep, deeper analysis. But if you want to just uh, take a look at the, you know, some, you know, sample 
or server packets. Uh, you you can do that without doing that. You can just uh, everything operate inside the idle console. So let's let's set up the let's start monitoring traffic. So we'll set up the you know ICMP monitoring for this server. So I know for this server uh, I'm uh, I'm using the ESXi uh, hypervisor, and the one of the VM will be here. So if we do the pin the internet server, or it's just three pins, we'll come back to the uh, server. Okay, you can see the server, you know, uh, destination and the source uh, traffic. Uh, if we do the IP. See it's a thirteen dot eleven. Okay, so you can see the the most important thing is you know the uh, this you you want to verify if your server you know it be intact correctly. So this is two two thousand one as the server uh, you know the port group VMware port group ID. So let's go to this. One. So you can see, I know it's after this DDS, and this uh, topology will show the uh, this is the, this is the uh, EPC one VM one IP eleven. This is the same IP eleven. Okay, so this is a server. You can see the important thing is you know the uh, DBS uh, VLAN ID is a two thousand one, and you can see that from the. Uh, let's go back to the port capturing. You can see this two thousand one over here. You can see the uh, return traffic is also two thousand one. Sometimes you will see the this ID. This is more like internal virtual connect. You know, flats. NIC internal ID. So this one will not be sent. Uh, uh, you know, if you capture the traffic on the VMware side, you will not see this packet. So this is depending on, uh, you know, uh, where you uh, internally how where the capturing, uh, you know, the point inside the virtual connect. Sometimes you will see it. Sometimes it's, you will not see it. But the virtual connect will will take care of this internal flex NIC ID. But important thing is you want to. Uh, check your packet uh, contents and uh, the uh, for the user face inside. What's your uh, VMware DBS port group uh, ID? Okay, so that shows you know this port group. Uh, it's you know port monitoring session is setting up correctly for the your for your local. We will want to go this one port monitoring for your local port monitoring. Monitoring. So in another video, we'll briefly cover, uh, you know, how to config uh, remote port monitoring um, for HPE synergy. So pretty much local, it's uh, it's contained in uh, inside one uh, uh, inside your virtual connect. So either you can select, you know, virtual connect downlink or uh, for the destination, or you can do the uh, your. Your des destination port instead of the uh, your downlink, you can do the uh, your, any of your uplink going to your external uh, server. So the 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 traffic will be coming from say server one will be sent out to if you have a Rackman server just a dedicated to the uh, uh, Wireshark or TCP dump session uh, for any purpose, and then you can just. Uh, 
have a dedicated link connecting up, you know, or you need to walk the uplink uh, with the virtual connect and uh, um, have the traffic sent over there. So for local mo um, port monitoring uh, to monitor server traffic, either uh, you, um, you consume one internal server to be dedicated for that purpose, or you can com configure one recommend server externally to connect to one of your uplink for port monitoring uh, purpose. Uh, that's pretty much it for local port monitoring session. We'll have another video for remote port monitoring session. Thank you.